So for us, it's not difficult to find what is truth. Now, is it possible that human beings can really can really uh, identify the truth that is objective and it's universal, meaning regardless of beliefs, customs, or opinions, or race, no? it is something that is universally accepted as objective truth. No? Now, if you are not a Christian, is it possible that you can arrive at this objective truth? Well, the answer is that uh, in my conviction that it is intrinsically inscribed within the nature of man to be able to recognize and distinguish right from wrong. No? So that's uh, that's how human beings are capable of understanding what is right and what is wrong and that is objective. No? So that's why this is the reason we have to have a norm or standard that is hopefully objective no? our concept of right no? a reasonable standard of right and wrong in human actions okay so a norm that a moral norm that serve as an ideal vision of a human person or an ideal stage or perfection of his being so we can really say that this is what makes man more fully and truly human. No? So I have told you in my first uh, discussion the, the origin of the word ethics that you will discover ethics and morality are being used interchangeably but they are actually these two disciplines have distinction number one is as to its relation because they also share the same meaning both ethics and morality deal with human act or human conduct and as to their distinction ethics pertains to the acquisition of knowledge of what to study about so here this will where the formulations of theories of right and wrong is being uh, studied and then morality pertains to the application of this knowledge so after you gain knowledge of what is right and wrong this is now the in morality it is now the application in the performance of human act second ethics studies about morality that's that's the relationship and its distinction is that ethics provides learning about the morality of human conduct and Morality provides ways of practicing what is learned. So that's their distinction now. Another relation is that morality gives ethics a perspective of what to study about. That is the rectitude of whether an act is good or bad. And as to their distinction, ethics is the word. Morality is the flesh. So meaning theory. Later I will talk about theory then uh, morality is the flesh and the last one the last uh, relationship is that morality provides ethics with a quality that determines and distinguishes right conduct from wrong conduct and then as to the distinction ethics indicates the theory and morality indica indicates the practice so that's that's the relationship but at the same time the distinction of ethics and morality okay now let's try to see in a bigger picture the relationship of morality to the other phases of our human life no? so as you can see morality is the basic element of human life cannot be separated from other phases of human activity although we cannot just immediately say that the act is good or bad on some other human actions like for example you are washing a plates no? washing the dishes and there are a lot of 
uh, ways, better ways to wash the dishes. And if you cannot follow the better way, it doesn't mean that you are already an immoral person. These things are are just something that is technical. So morality is more than that. No. So it becomes immoral if you don't really do the the washing and you just simply uh, deceive those who are using the plates that it is already washed and uh, because the effect is that is the is that it will really make you uh, uh, maybe magkasakit ka kung pananglitan hugaw ju kayo ang plato ani mo kasi yatik lang nimo ba so that's already morally wrong now morality uh, is actually present cannot be separated from other phases of human activity so ethics is really re, re, really important in number one education because education develops the whole aspect of man as a rational moral being for this reason the primary objective of education should be the moral development of man so that's why ethics and is important in education now morality is also important in the formulation of laws because morality and law are intimately related right and wrong good and bad in human actions presupposes a law or rule of conduct there is but there is however a striking difference between what is moral and what is legal the legal only covers the external acts of man no? while the the morality governs even the internal acts of man such as the volitional and the intentional uh, the intentional will of the mind specifically man's thoughts and, and desires so all uh, not all laws are moral like for example some countries legalize abortion but it is it, it is immoral third relation is that ethics is also related to art ethics stands for moral goodness art for beauty but as transcendental the beautiful and the good are one no? evil always implies ugliness or defects no? pangit no? and the good always uh, is always what is beautiful no? and that is what is desirable and this is what pleases when we perceive it fourth ethics and uh, ethics and politics are really also important no? the politics becomes dirty when when it is when there are no moral persons present in it so if it is separated from ethics then we can really say that you encounter dirty politics and the last one is that this is the closest relation in all phases of human activity ethics and religion no. true ethics can never be separated from god what is the ultimate ground of right and wrong should come from god the first law giver so in conclusion there is an author of a book in ethics in the person of michael boga he said that life challenges us to live in all areas balancing a mature moral sensitivity with a well-rounded involvement in other areas of human life so it is really a, a very difficult task to develop the moral values so that we, it becomes a virtue in our life and this is really what makes us really happy so that's why when we talk about the importance of ethics as my last presentation ethics is really important because the study of ethics will really 
help you identify right and good moral character that you should be de develop in ourselves no? a good moral character that make man find his true worth and perfection another importance of ethics is that it is important because as you uh, progress in education it is not just the acquisition of knowledge or the development of skill but it is also the formation of character so that's why ethics is very important in the in the in education is because it is uh, the formation of character and lastly according to a known philosopher in the person of socrates he said that the unexamined life is not worth living so one of the definitions that you find in ethics is that ethics is the investigation on the meaning of life likewise the student plato considers ethics as the supreme science for it provides the supreme purpose of human living so that's it i hope that you were able to get the discussions if you have questions feel free to um, message me or uh, maybe uh, let's have further discussions in uh, synchronous or in, at zoom or in google meet so that's all thank you for listening